Hello, this is Bill Gruby from Energetic Technology. Thank you for joining me for a virtual demo of the Chromatic Spectral Engine. The Chromatic Spectral Engine, which is sometimes called the CSE, is a sophisticated light source that enables you to match real world lighting conditions, emulate aluminum standards, and even create your own custom spectra. Let's see how it works. The system is built around the high radiance of the Energetic Laser Driven Light Source, or LDLS. Broadband light from the LDLS is first separated by wavelength by the imaging grating. Then the light is shaped to accurately match the desired spectrum. The output can be switched from one spectrum to another very quickly within 100 milliseconds with no settling time. Chromatic Spectral Engine is an all-in-one standalone system. I'm showing the system connected to a spectrometer for matching of new target spectra. Once the targets are matched, they are stored in the chromatic spectral engine and can be recalled at any time without the need for feedback from the spectrometer. The output of the system is coupled into a liquid light guide. The liquid light guide is connected to an integration sphere and a spectrometer for the matching process. The spectrometer is connected to a laptop, which is running the CSE host software. The host software is used for system characterization, defining targets and matching targets. Once matches are stored on the CSE, the laptop can be removed and the system runs in a standalone mode, producing the desired spectrum on demand. As an example, we created this demo light box to sample the light output of several types of bulbs using a spectrometer. The files generated by the spectrometer are then used as targets for the CSC to match. During upcoming trade shows, we'll be demonstrating the CSC with this light box so you can see for yourself how easy it is to match real world lighting conditions. I'm now sharing my screen so I can show you the CSC host application. This is the tool that allows us to load and match target spectra. So let's get started by pushing this button on the lower left that says load target from file. So this brings up a list of target spectra that I have saved on my computer. So I'm going to choose a white LED. In the background, the CSC matching algorithms are performing the match to this target. Now we see an overlay plot in which the blue curve is the target and the red curve is the match. And we can see visually that the match is very accurate. On the right side of the screen, there's a table of numbers that quantify the accuracy of the match in terms of color temperature, color coordinates, and the overall RMS error. Now we can continue to work with the spectrum by customizing it. One way we can do that is to dim the intensity to various levels. So for example, if we wanted to create a version of the spectrum that is 50% of the overall intensity, we can use this range select function to dim down to 50% of the original target. So we dial the 50% and we say adjust range. So now we see that the original target is in blue, and the new match is in red and is 50% of the overall output intensity. So it's been dimmed to 50%, but the color coordinates have been maintained the same. That's one way that we can customize the spectrum. Another way is to go into the fine adjust area. So let's say, for example, that we don't like this peak from 420 to 480 nanometers. So we'll select that range. 120 nanometers to 480 nanometers. And just for fun, let's dial that down to 0%. So we're going to get rid of that peak altogether. So again, there's going to be a new match. Now we see that there are actually three curves. The blue curve is the original target. The green curve is the adjusted target based on our fine adjustment. And then the red curve is the match. 
to our adjusted target. So you can see that we have essentially zeroed out or eliminated that peak altogether. Now, once we get the spectrum just the way we like, we've customized it for our needs, we can save it to the CSE system. So if we use this button on the lower right, says save match to CSE, that target will be saved to the CSE system and it can be recalled. So that spectrum will be reflected through the liquid light guide output at any time when we call up that target. Let's try another match. I'm going to my list here. I'm going to choose a fluorescent source. So these files are either files that we generated internally using a spectrometer, or they are some kind of standard from a specific organization, in this case, a CIE F12. So here we see the match again, and we see the, the narrow peaks that are characteristic of a fluorescent source. And you can see that the CSC is able to match those narrow peaks very accurately. So this is important if we're trying to emulate a fluorescent source with high fidelity. So we can again see our measures over here in terms of color temperature and color coordinates and RMS error. And we can do any fine adjusting that we see fit. But the point here with the fluorescent source is that we can match these narrow peaks because of the high resolution of the CSC. The resolution is typically less than four and a half nanometers full width half maximum. And that's what allows us to match these peaks uh, very accurately. So I'm not going to go into all of the functionality of the CSC host application, but I will touch on some of the other functions that it has. One is the, the combine mode here. So combine allows us to pull in two spectra and to combine them. So for example, if we wanted to pull in a daylight spectrum and a compact fluorescent spectrum and mix them in a certain proportion, so let's say 20% daylight and 80% compact fluorescent, we could ask the system to combine those spectra in that proportion and create a target and then perform a match. And then we can load that down onto the CSE and have it emulate that specific lighting condition. Another way that we can generate custom spectra is to go into the area that says flat top. This, this area allows us to, it gives us tools to very easily create flat top and ramp top spectra. And these are not necessarily natural lighting conditions, but they are spectra that may be useful for certain uh, test protocols. We can also create a monochromatic sweep sequence. So we can create peaks that sweep across the wavelength range of interest. Uh, like a monochromometer might do, so the CSE can, can operate in that, in that way as well. Then there's a sequence mode here. Sequence allows us to take a, a number of spectra, the target spectra that we've refined and we have just the way we like them, and define them as a sequence. And that sequence can be loaded onto the CSE and then triggered using tr TTL triggering very quickly to go from one spectrum to the next typically in within 100 milliseconds. And there's basically no settling time when you go from one spectrum to the next. So very fast steps from one spectrum to the next. And the last part I'll tell you about is the, the characterize function. And this is an automated procedure that's typically performed when the system is first installed or after a service procedure or after it's been transported over a significant distance. This just allows it to characterize its performance again to maintain the same performance on the first day that you use the system any day in the future. So this allows us to have a system that's very repeatable day to day, and also you can have multiple CSE systems that are going to act in just the same way in a very repeatable manner um, day in, day out. So that's just a high level overview of the CSE host application. Thanks again for joining this brief introduction to the Chromatic Spectral Engine. If you have questions, feel free to visit our website or reach out to me directly. Thank you.